the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just keep in mind the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So, Leo's in the recent past, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, this card, it points to messages. The messages, they're often with regard to money and finance. So, you're more than likely to find, or you're more than likely to finally receive news you've been waiting on. And this news, it would have been good news. And keep in mind, this is the recent past. Now, the night is a very practical card. It tells us to pay attention to the mundane, normal parts of your lives. Meaning, if you take care of the little things, the big things will usually fall into place. Now, with this card, it'll ask you to look at how you are handling your affairs and... It's a very groundling influence. And that's with the Knight of Pentacles, and it's paired with the Ten of Swords. Now, with the Ten of Swords, it would have been a clear signal to be careful about where you put your trust. Now, when the Ten comes up in a reading, um, in relation to a question as to whether you can't believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable. It would, it's, it's pretty clear or it would have been pretty clear that the answer is usually no. However, try to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door opens. So, you probably were being guided to a situation that was better for you. Trust yourself and trust in the universe. And that's what you should have done or that's what you did in the recent past. Now, we move on to the present. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot. Um... It can mean that your financial worries are over for a while and that things in general, they'll be going better than you thought possible. So make sure to enjoy this good energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. The Knight of Pentacles is paired with the Page of Pentacles. Now, this card, it can be about boredom. You, you're probably feeling tempted to say or do things to shake things up and shake people up just for a little excitement. Now, make sure you rethink this impulse. Find a better use of your energy. Um, excitement, it can be created. Now, with this card in your reading, it's an excellent energy to support you when you have Tedious work to get done and accomplished. Now, the page can give you focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not, necessar not, that's not necessarily glamorous or, glamorous or fun. It can give you the will to stick to a task that is not necessarily glamorous or fun. With these two cards paired together, the Nine of Pentacles, one of the most uplifting cards, uplifting and encouraging cards you can get. Your financial worries are over for a while, and being that it's paired with the Page of Pentacles, just enjoy the success that you're having financially, and uh, try not to shake things up 
with people uh, because you'll be feeling excited and having a lot of energy at this time because of your financial or your financial success your financial success will be having you feeling in a great enthusiastic way so you might feel like you can shake things up with people for a little fun but you need to rethink that impulse find a better use of your energy um, you might want to try to get some tedious work accomplished at this time because like I said you'll be having a lot of energy so you want to use that energy for the good and um, that's what the nine of Pentacles will do for you it'll, it'll give you a lot of energy and excitement because your actually your finances will be looking up and then that's the present and now we move on to the challenge we have the eight of cups now this often means that you'll probably choose to leave a situation uh, if you can see the picture uh, that's pretty much what it's showing uh, you'll probably choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Now that could be a relationship, a job, or a neighborhood. It could be anything really. It doesn't have to mean a uh, relationship, but it could be. Now there could be some sadness involved, but in general this separation is in your best interest just know that renewed good times lie ahead for you if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship job or a living arrangement trust yourself instead of coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you it usually means that you are the one who will make this choice. So you'll be doing the leaving. So keep in mind, very often, one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. And the Eight of Cups is paired with the Queen of Wands. Now, this kind of refers to a woman who has a lot of fire energy about her. Um, this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, if we're not referring to an actual person, um, this card stands for getting a lot accomplished and often focuses on work or career. Now, the queen is a positive, uplifting energy. When this card stands for a female or a lady in your life, she's a very good friend and she solid, solidly, wholeheartedly, 100% on your side. Even though she probably can seem a bit self-absorbed. Self if you're trying to conceive at this time, this um, if you're trying to conceive at this time, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. And with these two cards paired together, the Eight of Cups, you probably choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Now, this would be in your best interest, though. And it's paired with the Queen of Wands. Um, there's a female that's coming towards you or one that's in your life. And she's very supportive of you. So she'll be by your side at this time. And she'll be solidly, wholeheartedly um, considered to be a friend. A true friend so whatever decisions you make about leaving a certain situation she's she'll be your support now this could be your mother this could be your sister or a best friend or a lover 
And then that's going to be the challenge. Now let's move on to the outcome. The Four of Pentacles. Now this card can be about holding on to things, people, money, or situations much longer than it's healthy or realistic. Now when this card appears in a reading, it's a sure sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging on to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Now this card, it also points to fear, anxiety about money and or clinging, or you may be clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. Now the key is to realize that being anxious and grasping does not bring security. And it's paired with the Page of Cups. Now, with this card, it shows, it's showing you the picture I need to play, to dream, and to have a little fun. Now, it sometimes can mean that you're, you're taking yourself way too seriously. A lot of people will say, or you probably heard, that the difference between taking yourself serious, serious, too serious, the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously, uh, they would say, most people would say the first is important. It's imperative, and the second can be a disastrous. And you need to know the difference. Now, with these two cards paired together, the Four of Pentacles, it's um, basically, it's letting you know that you're probably holding on to things, people, money, and situations much longer than it's healthy and realistic. And you probably are experiencing some type of anxiety and fear due to this clinging. And being that it's paired with a page of cups, you need to relax and don't hold on to things in such a clingy way. Relax, have a little fun, um, because you're taking it far too seriously. Okay, and it could be a disaster at this time for you if you do that. And that will be the outcome. So Leo, I hope this resonated as you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. Thank you so very much for watching, and have a great day, and have a great day, and have a great day.